The alternator's purpose is to convert mechanical energy from the engine into electrical energy. This energy can be used to power all the electrical systems in your vehicle like the lights, radio, air conditioning, and so on. The alternator also charges your car's battery while you're driving. Without the alternator, your car would only run on the power stored in the battery, which would eventually run out and leave you stranded. That's why the alternator is so important. It keeps the battery charged and ensures that your car's electrical system has a constant supply of power to keep everything running smoothly. A quick tip when locating the alternator in your vehicle is to try looking for the serpentine belt. You'll be able to locate the alternator since it's driven by it. Here's the location on a Ford Fusion. The first common symptom of a failing alternator is warning lights. Your vehicle can have a battery warning light, an alternator warning light, or a generator light. If you see any of these lights pop up while driving, it's important to have your car checked out. Don't ignore these warning lights because you risk draining your battery and potentially getting stranded on the side of the road. The second symptom is accessories failing to work properly. For instance, the radio can be turning on and off, or maybe it's not working at all, or maybe your power windows are much lower than usual. Typically, if more than one accessory starts to act up, then it's a good indicator that your alternator is malfunctioning. Another common symptom of a faulty alternator is headlight problems. You could be experiencing your headlights become dim, or they can also flicker as well. This can be more noticeable when you turn on other electrical components in your car. The reason why this happens is because the alternator consists of several components that work together, including the stator, rotor, and voltage regulator to produce a stable flow of electricity. If any of these components fail, the alternator won't be able to generate sufficient power to keep the headlights as bright as they should be. The fourth symptom of a bad alternator is hearing grinding or whining noises coming from your engine. This could be caused by worn out bearings inside the alternator or by a faulty pulley. The fifth symptom is a dead battery. You'll be trying to turn on your car only to find out that it doesn't start because the battery's dead. If this happens often, it's important to not immediately assume that you need to replace the battery. A bad alternator is also a common cause for this issue. Since the alternator is responsible for charging the battery while the engine's running, if it's faulty, it won't be able to do its job, leaving you with a no start. The last and most unpleasant symptom is your engine stalling. You'll be driving down the road only to find out your car dies and turns off out of nowhere. This happens because the alternator provides power to the car's ignition system, which is responsible for generating a high voltage electrical spark at the spark plugs which ignite the air fuel mixture in the combustion chambers. If the alternator is not providing enough power, there won't be spark to ignite the air fuel mixture resulting in the stolen engine. It's important to note that a worn serpentine belt can cause similar symptoms to a bad alternator. I'll leave my video about the symptoms of a bad serpentine belt in the description below. Now if you want to learn how to test your alternator, then click here.